Hey guys, welcome to Digital Srini channel on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, this would be a right time to pause the video, subscribe it and continue. Okay, so now that you have done that, let's jump into today's topic. And this is again, I would like to provide you a Python tip. In fact, this is more of addressing an annoyance that you may run into if you work with segmentation models library. You will probably see a, a message that looks something like this if you're using TensorFlow 2.0 or later. Now, uh, for those of you who haven't watched any of my previous videos, but uh, somehow landed here, let me quickly explain what segmentation models is literally in a few seconds. And then let's jump into uh, how to, I mean, let's, let's jump into understanding how we can fix this issue. Okay. So first of all, let's see what segmentation models uh, library is. So go ahead and Google search for segmentation models in Python, right? I mean, I can provide you the link, but you will run into a uh, GitHub page or a PyPy page, you know, showing you the segmentation models uh, documentation. So this is great. I mean, I use this all the time. In fact, in many of my videos, I've used a segmentation models library because this makes your life easy in putting together uh, various architectures, well, primarily UNet, with various types of backbones. So you can actually put together your own unit uh, architecture, you know, your own unit model by defining a backbone, whether it is VGG, ResNet, or any of these, right? Efficient Net, Mobile Net, any of these. So just imagine the power of this, right? This is, this is amazing. It saves you so much time in not uh, writing a whole uh, bunch of code with these as backbones. And it also offers various ways of, uh, uh, you know, various, uh, uh, loss functions, sorry, I was going blank for a second, uh, especially the focal loss, which is very, very, very important for uh, semantic segmentation of multi-class, uh, uh, multi multiple classes where you have a class imbalance. Okay, enough about segmentation models now, let's focus on how to address the issue. First of all, to install this, all you need to do is pip install segmentation models, right? And they say the requirements are Python 3, Keras, uh, uh, TensorFlow greater than 1.1 and so on. All of these make sure you have this. In fact, all you need to do is make sure you have Python 3 and uh, that's it most of the time. Okay, now when you when you run this, I mean, when you import segmentation models, I mean, the installation goes without an issue. But when you import segmentation models, it throws the error I showed you earlier. Now, how do you fix that? First, let's, uh, let's do that in Spider. Uh, Anaconda, and then I'll show you how to fix that in Google Colab, okay, uh, at two uh, places. So first of all, I'll share this with you so, so you know uh, what the fixes are here. So let's look at uh, the first way, which is uh, we have to change, again, if you go back to the error, you say that all we need to do is remove this generic utilities, and that's it, delete this. Where do we delete that as part of your init file for efficient net? And it's located right there site packages and uh, uh, this is how it's going to show you when you try to run uh, import segmentation models so how do we find this again these two lines actually can tell you on under your environment where that init.py is located right so i'm in a python environment called python 37 or so and uh, yeah python 37 right there within that i have lib and site packages so it's clearly telling me go here and into site packages so all i'm doing is now let's go to let's open a file explorer i think this is in c and users admin anaconda 3 environments python 37 i have only one environment on the system 37 you may have multiple and go to lib and site packages right so this is exactly what the error is about and in site packages go ahead and find the init.py file sorry uh, find the efficient net folder efficient net folder if you have installed segmentation models that folder should be there okay if you haven't then that will not be there so go ahead and find efficient net and then init.py this is the file you need to edit go ahead and import that and let me zoom in to show you where it would be. So if you go all the way down, here it is, keras.utils get, get custom objects. It used to be, uh, it used to be, you know, uh, what, what was that line? It used to be this line, I'm sorry. It used to be this line right there. I'm sorry, there you go. I just deleted generic utils, that's it. Okay, so that's how uh, that's how you do this on. Oh, sorry, that's how you do this on your Anaconda site. So all you need to do is locate that under your. If you have multiple environments 
with segmentation models, you have to do this in all those environments, okay? Now let me quickly jump on to Colab to show you for those of you who are working on Colab, let's go ahead and see what we are talking about. So first of all, how do you install segmentation models, right? Install seg let's go back and look at the documentation. It always helps. Oh, it's just hyphen segmentation models. Segmentation models okay so go ahead and install this and i think to import this it's segmentation underscore models but uh, we'll uh, we'll get there in a second so on colab uh yeah we, we should have actually started the runtime but anyway this is this is basically installing the segmentation it no issue here right so now when i try to import okay segmentation models as sm let's say it probably throws me an error right there this is the error i'm talking about okay now one way you can get away with this is by uh instead of using tensorflow 2.0 which is the default in uh, colab you could actually use did i write that down i think i have written that down as part of my code here you could work with tensorflow 1.x right so all you need to do is define in your uh, uh, as the first line, right? I mean, define right there that you are going to use TensorFlow 1.x. But 2.x is much better. I would like to work with that. That's why we are trying to fix this problem. Okay, this is very easy. All you got to do is click on this. I mean, you don't know where, I mean, in case you don't know where this is located, obviously I assume you don't, just click on this link right there. It takes you directly to the page, directly to that line. So now you see how it says keras.utils, generic utils. Uh, just go ahead, backspace. Okay, and let's do control S. So it's saved. Now I can close this, runtime, restart. You have to restart. Otherwise, let's not restart and import. It doesn't know any better. It's just, it's just using the same. So let's go restart runtime. And now it should be, it should be fine. So let's go ahead and it's initializing. There you go. Let's go ahead and import it. Okay, hopefully it should not throw any error. There you go. It's using Keras framework. You're all set. Okay. Okay, I hope you found this to be very useful because this turned out to be some of some, uh, you know, a little bit of an annoyance to me because uh, I created a new environment. I was all excited to work with this and I did work with uh, TensorFlow 1.x because I didn't want to take care of this issue. But now I had to take care of this issue. A couple of you asked me as part of the uh, comments. Thanks for asking me. Here is how you fix it. Okay, now you know why you should be subscribing to this channel. So please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys.